Hey, look at that. I've got two iPhones here, an iPhone 4S and an iPhone 5, both running iOS 7. That is cool, great, isn't it? Awesome. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure you all came to that conclusion when you read the title of this video. But anyway, yes, I have got an application launcher called iLauncher, which gives you the iOS 7 kind of look on Android. Why would I want it? No reason whatsoever. I am perfectly content with Android and the Nexus kind of stock Android operating system. But there are many people out there who still would, you know, this is still a neat, nifty kind of thing that you can sort of try out for yourself. And what makes this launcher really interesting is like it doesn't just give you the look. It gives you the look in other ways as well. Now look, if I just go into the Safari, which uh, the crappy Safari logo for iOS 7. Do you see that animation? Press the home button. It takes you back. So pretty much exactly the same. Now if I could just tap into the camera as well. Apparently that's uh, kind of strange. It doesn't give you the animation when you go in there. But as you can see, if I press the home button, it zooms out back into the operating system, which is really quite nice. I really do like this. If I go into settings, it takes me into the Android settings. Like, seriously, it's like a really nicely done launcher. I'm really impressed by that. Now, we're just going to be focusing on one in this video. So, you know, you don't have to look at two mobile phones. But I'm really actually quite surprised how they actually did this. Because, seriously, it's like getting iOS 7. This is like one of the best ways you can actually have a sort of like iOS 7 hands on -y kind of experience. So, you got the music logo right there, the internet browser, or the Safari, crappy Safari logo, logo right there. The mail and iPhone. I prefer the previous Safari, but I digress. And you can see they've got the calendar one, the camera, messages, people, settings, stocks, weather, Gmail, clock, YouTube, App Store. And the App Store is obviously the Play Store, if I just go into it. And quite strangely, I might be wrong with this, I can't remember entirely, but the Dropbox logo is actually the game's new game station, or game center kind of logo. But as you can see, you, that's what it basically is right here, and you can, if I can actually find that, go into settings to actually customize this. Now, it's actually right here, I launcher settings, and then you can do is it gives you this iOS kind of -y look, you know, experience right here. If you go, if you go into iPad and press the home button, if you just wait for it, it will refresh the whole page of this right here. This, that would be more useful if you're using this on a tablet. But as you can see, it's all here. It gives you change the wallpaper options from either the Apex wallpapers, computer photos, gallery, or the HTC wallpapers. But I'm just going to, for the purpose of this review, just leave it as it is. You can add a shortcut and use your know, shortcut for, say, the widget locker. And do you want to use it for lock now? Shortcut has been created. And then if you just, as you can see, right there. And you can even tap and hold. And it even does the whole jiggly icon sort of thing. So if I want to remove that. It even gives you the sort of like bubble that we're used to on iOS, so press OK. Now, let's see if I want to cross off the internet browser, you can do that. And it says the app cannot be deleted, do you want to hide this app? So it just hides the apps basically and you can, you know, show them up again later. And you can even add them into folders and check it out, as you can see. Let's just call this, well it was something miscellaneous, wasn't it? I just, random, okay, I'll just call it random. There you go. So then, you can add more into this folder, and you can even swipe left or right to look throughout more of the folders as well. So if I press back button, stops, there you go. In the folder, you can scroll left or right in the folder as well. And you can tap this, or was it tap and hold? No, actually, you tap and hold on the app. And then you can rename that, which I'm not going to do right now. And let's see if I can just drag one more thing inside there. And if I can drag it to the next screen, let go, home button, home button again. And now let's go inside here, as you can see. It's, this is, seems very, 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 very like it's accurate to what I was, I was to do. For example, if I go over here and then press the back button, it swipes back. This is something that you get get in iOS. I don't never thought launchers would be able to do this. So, really quite impressive that you get that with the folders. As if you press the home button, the illusion is kind of ruined. As you can see, it sort of like does that. So you have to press the back button, and then it looks just like as it would. So, little fixes that should be able to get fixed. This. Uh, so I'm really really impressed that this launcher can really do stuff like this. I didn't think launchers were capable of this kind of uh, sort of like. Um, uh, precision. This really, has, someone really has worked very, very hard on this. And even if you go into the App Store, it takes you to Play Store, as I mentioned before. And let's have a look. If I go to the App Store, then press the back button. 
not too much difference actually. Yeah, look, if you go to some and some one of the problems I actually know is not much of a problem, but something that will hopefully get fixed. If I press the home button, it just like it doesn't do any sort of dissolve or transition. It just goes straight to the home screen and zooms out. But if you press the back button, it does a fade and then it zooms out. So that's really nice. And the calendar is even the same right here, same Android calendar. However, it's like. And just giving the iOS kind of look. So that is really quite cool. I'm really actually quite impressed by that. I do wish there were more options, however. As you can see, it's very sort of like uh, robust in terms of how similar it is to iOS. And you can add shortcut, allow shortcuts, restore hidden items. Like you can restore something like this. Then if you go back to the home screen, there, the car has been added. And yeah, I really am really quite impressed by this. And you've even got the gallery here as well. And various other things. You can't go to the Spotlight application, although I do think that was removed from iOS 7, and I can't remember. But yeah, overall, this is the iLauncher application, and it really does work very well, and I wouldn't want to use this as a daily sort of uh, launcher for myself, but this is still very, very interesting as to seeing how this works. I really am, like, very intrigued by this. I would like to see where it goes in the future. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my future videos. And a big thanks must go over to Vodafone for sending me this HTC One and the One Mini you saw earlier in review. And I'll see all of you next time. Take care.